Are you getting ready to get into dental school? Do you not have any idea what you're gonna be up against this first year of dental school, your D1 year? We've got some tips and some advice on how to survive the D1 year of dental school. Stay tuned. Hey, this is Dr. Darwin, the new dentist coach with another episode of Ask Dr. Darwin, where in many different series, we talk about things like getting into dental school, surviving dental school, getting into residency, and then life after residency. On today's show, we're going to be talking to um, a current D D2 student in dental school who just completed her first year of dental school, and she's going to give us some tips on um, how she prepared for the first year, what she liked best about the first year of dental school, the biggest challenge or challenges she had during the dental school year and uh, how she overcame them. And then she's gonna share some tips and advice for all the incoming dental, uh, incoming dental students that are coming into maybe BU or her school, but also all the schools nationwide. So this morning we're joined with uh, student Dr. Brianna Chang. How you doing? I'm great, I'm excited. Awesome, awesome. Thanks so much. You look you look relieved after uh, this D1 year. Yes, it can be a stressful year, but you push through. You push you through. Try. Yes. Absolutely. So uh, kind of, uh, if you would, please share uh, with everyone a little bit about yourself and where you are at dental school as well. Okay, so I'm Brianna Chang. As she said, I'm at Boston University. Just completed the first year. Um, I am from New York and I came all the way out to Boston because it's a great city. I chose Boston after doing my master's program at BU. It was in oral health science and just realizing the community that was there, I wanted to stay in at the school. So here I am, I'm passionate about oral health policy and dental education and BU fosters those outlets that I have. So. I'm continuing to pursue my education here. Good, good. So let's dive into some of these questions on how you survived the first year of dental school at BU. So the first thing is, do you remember, what, what did you hear about, um, about D, the D1 year before you even starting school? Mm -hmm. People compared it to drinking water out of a fire hose and how you just being <laughs> information, which is not a lie, it is definitely like that. <laughs> It is definitely overwhelming. You get a lot of information. Um, for some people, it's easier because uh, their foundation in science is, well, I started by doing art in high school and kind of transitioned into the science curriculum and wanting to be a dentist later on. Um, but for me, it was a challenge. Um, they have exams maybe once every week, and we're not talking you're learning a little bit. You're learning probably like a third of the textbook and you have to take an exam on this and then the next exam is on a different subject. Um, BU does weekly exams, basically. And you have to keep up. Yeah. And it's, it doesn't stop at all. No, it's not. It's stop. not. So, so being that you heard that it was like drinking water out of a, a fire hose, how, how, how did you mm -hmm. kind of go into the, the, the first year? How, would you, how did you like prepare yourself or... What was your, your thought process in getting ready for the first year? Yeah, one of the most important uh, strategies that I use for dental school and preparing each day was having a routine. So I would wake up at 6 a.m. Generally, no one else is up at that time. So 6 a.m. was perfect. I could get my mind right, kind of come into whatever I needed to do, plan out my day. Um, by 8 a.m., I was doing something productive that contributed to school. So I was either in class or I was studying for the upcoming exam. Um, I had to go to class. I think going to class is crucial. I think it's undervalued. Uh, we need to, uh, I needed to be in class because I knew that if I didn't go, I would not review the material and then it would just pile up, which did happen sometimes when I was off my schedule. Uh, so I think that it is important to just be in class, have your routine. And then one of the key things that helped me a lot was um, reviewing the material that would be taught the next day. 
So kind of doing a pre-read and looking up any terms that I was unfamiliar with or any concepts that were completely new. So that when I got to class, I had, was already familiar with the material and I could just ask questions instead of going there blank minded and not knowing what was going on at all. Yeah, yeah. And, that, so and, I, uh, and I think that's probably a good way to really prepare yourself for the, uh, you know, the D1 year, having those strategies or at least those uh, items that you're going to, to do, you know that up front and just doing that and starting out the D1 year that way. So that's good. Okay. Now, what did you like best? What did you like best about the D1 year? I liked being involved. <laughs> I have trouble saying no. And so when someone's like, you should do this event, you should be here, you should meet this person. I was like, yes, I will be there. I will speak to them. I will pick their brain about everything concerning the industry and beyond. And I think that's helped me the most in just um, realize, remembering why I'm studying all these long hours of the day. Um, keep me grounded because you can get lost in trying to figure out why am I wasting my time studying from eight to, to nine every day what's the point of it so I think being involved in what well, I'm doing like oral health policy and like going on some of the asthma trips or being involved in SNDA those things kept me grounded and made my experience in dental school for the first year what it was that's good that's good now here's the the big question what's the big question big question what was the biggest challenge that you had during this d1 year and uh what did you do or how did you overcome it yeah um, my the best part was also the most challenging part uh <laughs> committing to too many things uh, you have but so much time in the day. And so just creating, going back to that schedule or routine, something that can keep you focused on what you need to do is something that I struggled with. Um, managing my time was the hardest part. Now, what, now what a part of, about manage your, managing your time? Because you had a schedule. You kind of mm -hmm. knew you know, what things that you needed to do on a daily basis. You had a routine. Um, but was it because you were just overly enthusiastic and wanted to be involved in some organized dentistry that that kind of threw off your schedule and threw off your time? Is that what you mean? It, it definitely did. The more I said yes, the more I had to like figure out how to pack things in there. And you, you don't want to uh, do half your best in something just so you can do more things. Right. And I found that eventually it became that. And the only way I could focus in on what I really wanted to do was being surrounded by good people who were like, no, this is where you're really, you're really passionate about. This is where you should put your energy. And so just having people in your corner that can um, help remind you of where, what is important to you. Right. Right. So with that being said, what did you do to manage, you know, you, you had a challenge of managing your time. What did you do to, to circumvent it or actually to, uh, to overcome that challenge? Uh, sleep less? <laughs> Not a good answer. <laughs> Not a good answer. Some things, some things had to get cut. Um, <laughs> sleep was one of them. Yeah. But uh, I mean, it's still something I'm learning how to do. Let's say that. So I don't have the answer to that okay. yet. Sleep, sleep less. Uh, well, maybe, uh, but more efficiently sleeping. Yes. Okay. More efficiently sleeping. So, so, so hopefully you're a hard sleeper. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wakes you up when you get that six hours in or whatever. Uh -huh. It's a good, solid six hours or whatever it is. <laughs> so that, that would probably be something that you will probably continue to explore to make sure that you uh, are able to, to, to manage those challenges of wanting to be involved and, and, mm -hmm. and it's a good thing don't get me wrong it's a, it's definitely a good thing but now getting ready to get into second year you got to figure out you know how to uh to, to overcome it so that you are still working on six hours of sleep and not have it depleted down to two or three 
oh, my goal is really eight. You know, I just <laughs> shoot for the stars. I say I want eight hours. It's one of my best self. And I, when I feed myself, you know. Yeah, that's important. <laughs> self care is definitely important. That's mm -hmm. how you overcome some of these challenges. Making sure that you reset back to self care with sleep, eat. Um, you know, taking walks, just kind of stepping away from the books for for yeah. a bit just to get some fresh air and just get reoriented. So all of those things are good things to do to help you overcome some of the challenges. Mm -hmm. So last but not least, uh, you know, you kind of alluded to a couple of things uh, previously in our discussion, but tips, advice, what if the advice and tips do you have for the incoming D1s coming to, to mm -hmm. BU or any of the schools throughout the country? What, knowing what you know now, what are some tips you would share? Uh, the number one advice that I got that I think is so valuable is having a mentor, having someone who can help guide you. I'm first generation American, first generation college student, first generation dental. Like no one knows in my family can guide me. I had to find out who was a know-how and how I can get that information. And so reaching out to individuals like yourself and has broadened my understanding and kept me grounded. So. I want to thank you because you kind of told me, you told me that and you've provided that for me. And so having a mentor is key. Listening to your podcast, um, I've been exposed to more people, knowing other people's stories in the field that you want to go into um, has been key for me. And so just listening to those podcasts, listening to some of the podcasts also about um, what what uh about the application cycles and knowing about like the ada pass because now i'm thinking about what a specialty look like so just being immersed in like different uh, outlets different resources that can guide you towards where you want to be doing as much research as you can on whatever aspect of dentistry you want to be in is something that i think is a key thing you should do awesome i mean that's I mean, that sums it up right there. Mentorship is good. It helps with networking. And the main thing about networking is uh, not who you know, but who knows who they know in addition to yes. those people, right? If you know one person and that person has 100 people in their contacts, now, you've, now you know 100 people, right? I mean, Correct. that's pretty much how it's, you know, how, mm -hmm. how we're all kind of connected in some way or shape or form. Well, student Dr. Chang, I want to say congratulations again for successfully completing and surviving first year at BU. Congratulations, <laughs> congratulations. congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. That's awesome. And uh, now you have uh, at the forefront the uh, probably the most challenging year of dental school, the D2 year. Oh boy, is that so? <laughs> it doesn't get any easier. <laughs> uh, you know, it, it kind of does after the second year, but you got to get. Okay the second year first, but be sure, you know, to, you know, continue to look through different resources. There's some people that we've interviewed that uh, ha have uh, survived the second year and, th and they've shared some tips and advice uh, as well. And uh, hopefully those will be, um, you know, will help guide you through this second year. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Well, thanks so much for sharing your story. You guys have, um, those that are listening and watching, you know, now it's time for the question of the day. Let us know right down here. Let us know what part about today's interview, about today's segment that you like the most. What did you not know beforehand that you're going to use and implement now that you have that information? Put that comment and those inf that information down below. And you share that. Also, uh, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel, Dr. Darwin Speaks, and send me an email at newdentistcoach.com at gmail.com, newdentistcoach at gmail.com. I want to hear from you, your tips, uh, things that we can bring to you that we can share with you as all uh, as well. So uh, and last but not least, be sure to check out this next video. I think it's right here. Yeah, check out this next video right here. And uh, hopefully it's, it'll help you as well. Student Dr. Chang, proud of you. Keep doing the good stuff that you're doing. Keep staying involved and we'll, and we'll talk to you very, very soon. Thanks.